guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 33 and 34 of March Comes In Like Alliance. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 33 and 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. No, it's still there. Fuck. Check something real quick. Where the sun shines? Why though? Hmm. Of course. Okay, but where is it going to be? Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, 
espacio. Ajá. <risa> <laughs> yeah, basically. You just walked basically. Mm
Mm-mm, I couldn't do that. Oh, he's so pretty. Uh, he was pretty in the previous part, but he's prettier now. Like, oh, I can't. Pretty boy. Damn it. It's okay, it happens to all of us. Yeah, don't want to die on them, don't you? I can't. <laughs> Oh my god!
I don't know why, but when they started the music, you know, like the Ace, um, oh my god, the lawyer game on this, on the DS, I don't know why I got pissed to that. I think we'll be in a courtroom for a second. Next thing you know, somebody's like, objection. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's very, well... Can I sit? Oh my god. <laughs> Expression emotional with like his movement only when it is his turn. Oh, he in the slump now. Yeah, Gaku will be okay. <laughs> I love the fact that they are fast walking. Did you see it for themselves? But something tells me that Shimada is definitely going to defeat him. Be alone. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Right. Hell, isn't also um Hina and Hina supposed to be graduating middle school? So then she could go to the same high school as him and they could hang out and see each other. So that he has like one other friend. Mm-hmm. 
in school until he graduates, but then he and I will be alone, and, well, yeah, let's repeat that cycle over and over again. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> Oh god. No, they're doing this. Really? Ow. That was cute, oh my god. But I'm glad, you know, he has more members, even though it's just nothing but um, <laughs> teachers and the principal and vice principal. But at least because of it, he can continue and he doesn't have to be alone again. Because, I mean, <clears throat> it kind of reminds me, because I have, like, two experiences. So, like, one high school experience and then, um, essentially, like, from what I've seen on TV shows and stuff. So when I was in, I did three years of chorus from my sophomore to my senior year. Um, I had one friend who was really, really close to me, but she was, when we met, I was a sophomore and she was a freshman and such. And we would always hang out anytime when I had, when we had like women's choir and then anytime when we had like the concert and ish or anytime we had lunch and stuff like that, we would hang out and stuff. But um, I remember one time, it was my senior year, and it was like a couple of months before I had to graduate and such, and we talked, and she was like really upset to the fact that I had to graduate this year and such because she wasn't going to see me again. It was kind of the same thing when I worked at the football stadium over here um, for extra money for my chorus and stuff, and when I told the lady who I had been working with for like almost two years um that I would be graduating she got super <laughs> upset because I was like the as I tell to everyone else I'm the super like nicest person that you will ever meet anything that you tell me to do I'm gonna immediately do it no matter what and she she cried <laughs> so leading up to like the um 
the last few weeks that, you know, our chorus was able to do um, the football games and everything. Um, I think it was like maybe like two, three weeks. I had two, three weeks left or like two, three, four games left to uh, work for the um, my chorus, but still for the Jacksonville Jaguars at the same time. Um, <laughs> it was my last, last game for working this and they were nice enough to give me something because um I had worked so hard with them and everything and everybody was super duper upset and it's that it was just this is my last time and such and so one of those like even like so many years later I've always been very grateful and the memories that I have with working and having just that involvement and the opportunity to do something like that would have loved to do it again but you know <laughs> let me tell you working <laughs> working concessions um for a football game I oh god I, I can't imagine like you know because there was a point in time where I wanted to work at a movie theater hell the same thing as a mall um there are times where it's like hella stressful and it's super duper annoying especially like when but the worst thing is like when you the worst thing working at like at a football game or any type of game where it's alcohol um is when people get super duper drunk and we had a thing where if someone wanted beer you could only get two draft cups and if so if there was four and you come with four cups you could only get those two filled with alcohol you have to kind of bring a buddy with you <laughs> to um take two so you take two they take two and it's like that but like i'm glad that you know rain found other people even though it ain't students <laughs> but still you know happy for him because i mean i can't imagine with the remainder of the episodes that we have left for this show of him being alone and not having anyone else but his um homeroom teacher and it's like that but something does tell me that Hina is going to be going to the same school as him so maybe they'll get to hang out as more but then at the same time when he graduates it's going to be hard because she'll be alone because of course she doesn't have Sakura how she's currently alone now in the situation that she's stuck in for sticking up for a friend and eventually getting bullied for it and such and I hate that but We've already talked about that. Once again, the school system sucks. School systems don't want to do jack shit about bullying. No matter where you live. You live in the United States or you live around the, on the other side of the fucking world. I bet you all school systems are all the same when it comes to um, freaking faculty trying to prepare their other faculty members for possibly bullying. We ain't going to get into that, but still. Go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 34. Okay, episode 34 in 3, 2, 1, go. I wasn't expecting to get a new opening because I'm thinking like, because we are so close to the end of this show. I, mm. I mean, like, how many episodes we got left? Like, what, 12, maybe? Probably even less than that. Oh, oh Momo! That's interesting that they show Sakura in the opening. Does that mean she's going to come back in some way, shape, or form? She wants to move back and go to the same school as Hina, maybe? I wonder if Kyoko is going to get another focus episode soon. Because, I mean, it's been how long since we've seen her? I mean, old? Oh, no, it's Hina! Hmm? 
Oh, so who stole chalk? What's gone? Timeline. You telling me one of the students took it? Do you think she possibly could have took it home? Oh my god, shut up! I did. <laughs> I know you weren't even going to do anything about it.
In the end, we're just gonna have to get substitute. <coughs> Exactly. But it was too much for her. Exactly. Of course, because what else? So. Oh, no shit. I mean, come on now. <laughs> Are we eating our feelings? Is that what we're gonna do? my heart. Oh. Aww. No, <laughs> because you might make it a, a bigger problem than it already is. We don't need that. <laughs>
And something tells me her mom's going to say something to Hina and Akari. Yeah, I mean, it seems like your daughter is the one that has issues. This fucking little bitch let me... Mm. See, it's it's not only a teacher. It's always that one parent who never believes that their child can bully someone else. The fuck is the proof gonna do to you? Nothing. Yeah, cause she fucking lying through her fucking ass. Of course you would, because that's your child!
It's okay. Mm -mm. Mm-hmm. And strong. Of course. Of course. Yeah. I bet you they all forgot about the fact that they bullied her. And they just move on to their next victim. But she's not. Exactly. Mm -mm. <sighs> okay. A lot happened in this episode. Hell, oh, to the point where I'm pissed. I think this is like, oh god, maybe the third, fourth, fifth time I've gotten pissed and angry in a moment of this show. But I, I get it because I think anybody who was probably watching this episode was hella peed old. Like, oh my god, I. Mm. I just hope and pray this situation gets done. So that oh, freaking Hina can move from this. She deserves better than this. The teacher, like, going off on them. Honestly, that was the best thing of the first half of this episode. Because it, it was too much for her. And the fact that it was happening every single year with a different class that she's had all the time. Of course, you know, what else is going to happen unless her breaking down and having an anxiety attack and then fainting and then being sent to the hospital. And of course, finally, it, it's worse when like, especially with situations of bullying, when the principal and then the superintendent, um, 
come to the school and try to do an investigation and they talk to the entire um whatever class so if it's like sixth graders they're going to talk to the entirety of the sixth grade class or and then more of whoever's class it is the most but oh But something tells me um, the girl who is bullying, who did bully uh, Chiho, and who is currently bullying Hina, she's going to confess. Something tells me this hoe, this child, she's going to confess. Because the fact is, whatever is going to happen by the outcome of this, or in another way, if this was in a different outcome or solution, whatever, they're both going to be known for so many things, especially the girl who bullied, you know, who bullied someone. You're going to be known for this, not for the rest of your life, but maybe like going into, you know, the rest of your middle school career, going into your high school career. And you don't want to be known for that. And plus, karma is a bitch once again. I'm sorry. And in the end, she might get bullied when she gets into high school. You would think that, because this has happened, not to me, but someone who I know who was bullying someone. And me and her, um, I was the smart one in being, I, I, I never really snitched on her. But I only really considered her a friend, like, my first year uh, that we met. So that would be my sophomore year while well, she was a freshman and so when I became a junior she became a sophomore um she thought she was all that hella all that and such and so I remember we were going to um Atlanta for a chorus trip and such um and she kept bullying this one chick and so at, at that time like when she was when she was bullying that one girl um who I'm still friends with me and this other girl like by the time like she became all this is not and I'm a bad bitch and shit like that. Me and her weren't really friends anymore. We were talkative, but that's it. We weren't really engaged in a lot of hanging out and stuff. So what me and my friends did during our trip to Atlanta, we had one of our friends, just the one who was getting kind of bullied and everything, just hang out with us and shit like that. Um, <laughs> let's just say, to make a long story short, by the time me... Um, the person who was being bullied and the rest of us because we were seniors and we graduated the following year. Um, I was at home and I was hanging out with one of my friends. And no, where was I at home? No, yeah, yeah, I was at home. Yeah, yeah, because her mom ended up coming, um, coming over and talking to my mom. We overheard, um, from my friend's mom talking to my mother that the girl who was bullying. The, the sophomore girl who was officially not a, a senior at like 2013 she was getting bullied not only was she getting bullied by the cheerleader she was also getting bullied by the chorus people and i was like oh and so both of us looked at each other and i was like hmm he just said at the same time karma is a bitch and really it is so it's like don't do it because you know because when it comes to your turn it's going to be so 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 much worse two times more worse than the first time when you did it yourself so I, I don't know I mean I really want this to be a good outcome with Chiho you know officially like writing to Hina and getting a letter that means it's gonna be a good outcome next week honestly I cannot wait for this next episode I wish I would go ahead and watch it now but I still gotta watch my next show so I will probably watch this next Monday but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 33 and 34 <clears throat> of March comes in like a lion. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons. And next Monday for everybody else for episodes 35 and 36. Bye, guys.